all this is dr mobin sayed from drbean.com welcome to one more show so what we'll do today is number one we'll talk about ivermectin and variants this has been another question that has been asked so many times that will ivermectin be effective against various variants or not so we're going to talk about that then we'll we'll hang up this this particular uh, discussion and we'll go back and we'll do some chit chat i'll update you about my uh, uh, health as well so let's start hopefully everyone is doing great and let's start So this is drbean.com. This, I loved it. The, this is the New York Times. But this uh, particular um, article here is beautiful. I have the link in the description. Compare that to this rather barren and, and less useful CDC's article about variant as well. So this is January 28, science brief emerging SARS-CoV-2 variants. They only talk about UK, South Africa, and Brazil. Here you would see actually UK, South Africa, Brazil, then US, and then California, New York, and so on, Illinois. So you would have a much richer discussion in this article. This is another uh, CDC article, Genomic Surveillance for SARS-CoV-2 Variants. Again, not, not a lot in here. I continue to be disappointed by these organizations like CDC, FDAs, and WHOs. Very rarely I feel comfortable that what they have presented is complete. This is another decent article by NPR, worried about coronavirus variants. Here is what you need to know. And this is a variant tracker. So just like next strain, which is here, this is next strain. I'm actually going to uh, turn it off because it takes too much of the processing power and that causes a lag on the video relay. But this is next strain, which has various strains of SARS-CoV-2 and they're tracking them. And these are the strains present in various countries and their percentages and so on. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn it off here. This is also a very decent site. This one is lineage cove-lineage.org. And they are also keeping track of various variants. And you can see, actually, this, this whole list is variants. And these are just some of the variants. So I'm going to turn this one off as well, because this also is going to take processing. And now we would use this one in my illustrations. So let's start from here. So the question is, is ivermectin still effective against variants? And let's spill the beans. So this was my depiction of spilling the, the beans or spilling the cool beans, if you can. And that was the answer is yes. So then the question becomes, why is it yes? What is, what is it that ivermectin is doing that even vaccines are struggling against various variants, newer variants, but ivermectin, what is so magical about it? And to those folks who have been uh, yelling and cursing at me that I am some sort of a, uh, <laughs> I do not know, some sort of a snake oil salesperson who talks about ivermectin's mechanism out of the blue, and these are all wrong mechanisms. We have done these discussions in the past, and I have the link to every single mechanism that I've talked about. It is possible that those mechanisms themselves, the studies, the articles themselves are incorrect. Then I am incorrect as well. But I have not talked about anything without some basis uh, in the medical research. Uh, and what do you think about this little diagram of the cool beans spilling the beans? I love these cool beans here who are just hiding. And, and this one is about to slide down. So let's start. So the discussion is variants and will ivermectin actually help against the variants? So let's see. The very first function of the SARS-CoV-2 is to bind with our cells and enter the cell, correct? So that binding is at the ACE2 receptor or ACE2 enzyme. This is the only area where it is possible that the ivermectin's function is slightly um, compromised or lessened. For example, if you see here, UK variant, 
UK variant has spike protein mutations, and we have done a UK variant discussion in detail before. So N501Y, there is a de deletion on spike protein for 69 and 70, number 69 and 70 amino acid, then P681H, that is a uh, mutation in the cleavage side of the spike protein, protein S1 and S2, and this variant is B117. So that means the, the spike protein is slightly changed. Now, we know that the one of the function of ivermectin is to actually bind with the spike protein and then also uh, hinder the engagement or docking of the spike protein with the ACE2 enzyme. So if spike protein has significantly changed, which causes the ivermectin not to be docked with it, then the virus could escape. So far, that has not happened for any of the variants. Uh, Brazilian variant B1351, it has mutations K417N, that is on the spike protein, E484K, that is on the spike protein, N501Y, that is on the spike protein, all of them so far still within the capability of ivermectin to continue to bind with them. South Africa P1 or the Manaus uh, uh, strain variant, these are the uh, changes in there, K417Ts on spike protein, E484K on spike protein, N501Y on spike protein. And again, those are within the capability of uh, ivermectin. In the US then, the important ones, for example, in California, the variant B1427 and B1429, these have become about 40% of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 is present in the in California, in my state, 40% uh, of these are these new variants. And they have a mutation, which is called L452R, which is also in the spike protein. It makes them a little bit more contagious. Then there is a New York variant, and there are tons of variants everywhere. Uh, I think we have just become a little bit more fascinated by these variants. So B1526, it has a uh, mutation on E484K, which is on spike protein. Then another mutation called S477N on spike protein, which actually increases the binding affinity. All of those are still not big enough or extensive enough to stop the ivermectin from stalling or interfering with the virus from binding. But if at all in the future, some strain, some variant is going to escape the antibodies or one function of ivermectin, that may be here. So has not happened here. So that means the original wild type or any of the variants are still within the capability of ivermectin to continue to work. Now, why vaccines may be reducing their effectivity because vaccines are actually targeted in the areas or to the areas where mutations are occurring. So the antibody binding is becoming less effective. So continuing on. Second, once the virus has docked with the ACE2 and then the TMPRSS2 enzyme kind of uh, primes the spike protein, then the virus fuses with our cell membrane or maybe enters the cell membrane. It can do either of them. And then the viral RNA is released in our cytoplasm and the ivermectin did not have a function there for any of the viruses. So it does not interfere there. So that means it will not interfere with the original and it will not interfere with the variants. Now, remember, if you just... Uh, thinking about hydroxychloroquine, hydroxychloroquine actually affects this area and hydroxychloroquine would affect this part of original and all the variants as well. Ivermectin just does not have any function in this area. Continuing on, replication. So in when the virus starts the replication process, what happens is the viral RNA binds the messenger RNA binds with our ribosome inside our cytoplasm and then that ribosome would work on this uh, genetic material for the virus and start producing viral proteins. One or two important proteins are RDRP of the virus and 
three chymotrypsin like protease, both of them are affected by ivermectin. And for all variants, these enzymes are the same. So will ivermectin interfere with all variants? Yes. Uh, even hydroxychloroquine, would that interfere with all of them? Yes. Hydroxy actually interferes with the ribosomal activity as well. And so that would continue to interfere for all of the variants. So again, here is ivermectin's capability reduced against any one of the variants. No, it is fine. So continuing on. Then the cellular defense reduction. So this is another function of the SARS-CoV-2 that it sends a cargo, viral cargo, in our nucleus through by using the proteins called importin alpha and beta. And that message that goes into the nucleus causes the gene expression inside the nucleus of defense mechanisms to not occur. And or you can say that the viral defenses, uh, the cellular defenses against the virus are stripped down, reduced. Plus the interferon alpha secretion is reduced as well so that the neighboring cells are not informed that there is a there is a virus and they are not alert to attack the virus or be strong against it. So uh, again, ivermectin is present in this area and what it does is it binds with this. So here I have made this important alpha and beta. Ivermectin is bound to this and that disrupts the viral cargo from going to the nucleus. This function for one variant or the original or all variants is the same. And so ivermectin would continue to disrupt them. So will ivermectin help here? Yes. Will it continue to help against all variants? Yes. Any issues with ivermectin here? No. Then the final function of ivermectin is the reduction in inf inflammation. So what happens is that once a cell has been um, um, infected and then the immune system has become activated, some cells have become damaged, cytokines have become uh, released, then the cells would start releasing cyto um, the inflammatory cytokines as well. And one important one of those is nuclear factor kappa B or K beta. I, ivermectin blocks that um, pathway or kind of stalls that part pathway, reducing the inflammation. Does it matter which variant is in our body and the body is responding with inflammation? No, it does not. Any variant in our body would cause inflammation. And if ivermectin is present, then the nuclear factor K-beta pathway will be um, will be stalled. And that is how ivermectin would continue to work. So what is the takeaway then? The takeaway is that ivermectin is going to stay effective against all the variants for SARS-CoV-2. The only area where there may be an opportunity for the virus to escape ivermectin in the future will be if there are more changes in the spike protein. So far, all variants have the changes that ivermectin does not is not bothered about. So it says, oh, well, I can still manage you. So that is what is the basic discussion. Again, short and sweet. I'm going to hang up here just so that um, the this particular video stays short. And hopefully, you can then easily share it with others as well. So my request to everyone, please like, subscribe, and share. There is a link in the description to uh, if you would like to buy me a coffee, or there is a link in the description if you want to be a patron for us to continue to produce these uh, lectures, or if you just wanted to support this work in general. And if you wanted to do something really just minimal, then you can just like and subscribe. And that itself is also very useful for the channel's growth. So thank you very much. And I would see you in a few minutes.